Welcome to Auto Login Series Part 4. In this video, we are going to learn how to generate the KTAP file, where to place the KTAP file. After placing it, what are the actions we need to update on the UA.yml file? And to make those changes reflect in the application, we need to restart the Prophecy Authentication Service. So let's proceed with the, with the video and here is the C drive where we will be generating our KTAP file. To generate the KTAP file, open command prompt with administrator mode. So I have pasted the command and I will be generating the KTAP file. So as you can see, after executing the command, our key tab file is generated and it will give something message like this. To verify it, we have given the location in this command for C drive and that's where we have generated. And the user which we have used is auto login user which we have been creating using manage service account and is consistent user with which we are trying to achieve the auto login part. So now let's navigate to location which is C drive as you can see this is the file ktap file which is generated now coming to the second point we need to place this ktap file at the location from where it can be used so copy this file and navigate to the location which is mentioned in the slide as well in the starting of the videos or you can follow the same as mentioned here I will be pasting this KTAP file over here. Now coming to the third point, we need to make some changes in UA.yml file which is also placed at the same location where we have pasted our KTAP file. So here when you open the UA.yml file, we need to make some entries at the bottom last of this UA.yml file and use this as a reference. You can mention it by providing the service principal name and the key tab location for this. In this case, this is the wrong location provided. So I will just go and copy the location and the file name and update it. So as you saw, this is was having the older entry. Just in case if you do not find entries for this on your ua.yml file do not panic just update the ua.yml file as mentioned in the screen right now and update the file once the file is updated we will close it and we will restart the services to start the services With the Windows search bar, you can type services and open the application. With this application, you can navigate to G Prophecy Authentication Tomcat Web Service. Right click on this Tomcat service and click on restart. This might take some time depending on your system requirement. And once this has been successfully updated and services is restarted, your auto login should be continue to work and that will conclude our part 4. Just one more thing, after the generation of KTAP file, we can verify our managed service account user which is auto login user and what changes can we see from that perspective. So one more point that after generating the KTAP file, our managed service user, auto login user will also get updated and we can see how it will be updated right now you are looking me uh, looking at the screen which is ldap ldap machine navigate to active directory users and computer section how to open this part is mentioned in the part 2 you can refer the same on the manage service account to make reflect changes just click on the refresh button and post that double click on the auto login user this is the same user which we have specified for all our auto login activities once it opens go to the account section 
and here in the user logon name now you can see the http protocol and fully qualified domain name is also visible that means our successfully ktab file generation has reflected over here as well that concludes the part 4 thank you